A baby has been found dead in a squalid flat whilst his mother was allegedly out partying in Brazil. The infant's corpse was found under a bed in a locked room in Itapevi in the state of Sao Paulo. The mother was said to have been out at a party at the time that the police came and raided the flat. Neighbours told officers that she often left her children alone for days at a time. Why? Well, because she wanted to go party. The baby appeared to have died of starvation several weeks ago. The police entered the apartment after neighbours reported a foul odour coming from inside. Officers were shocked to come across three children aged 10, 8 and 3. They were alone in the squalid home, rubbish, filth everywhere. Thankfully the children were unable to access the locked room where their sibling's corpse was reportedly decomposing under the bed. The home was one of complete neglect and abandonment, rubbish strewn around the dirty floors. Neighbours claimed that the mother prevented the children's father from visiting any of the children. She was tracked down, the suspect left a statement at the police station, then what did the Brazilian police do? Oh yeah, that's right. They released her on bail. She's been charged with child abandonment, child mistreatment, concealment of a corpse. She's even been charged with homicide and the Brazilian police just let her go. Oh, there you go. On your way. At this point in time, the infant's cause of death has not been confirmed, but it is suspected that he died of starvation. The investigation is naturally ongoing. What a disgusting banshee of a woman. Seemingly her baby died weeks ago. She stopped stuffed it under the bed. Died of starvation in all likelihood. That's what's believed to be the case. Doesn't bother her that much. Stuff it under the bed, lock the door, go out party. What is wrong with these people? These are fellow humans, just like you, just like me. Could be our neighbours. Okay, fine. It's unlikely that you live in Itapevi in Sao Paulo. But even so, these are fellow humans and they act this way. This is a woman. Aren't women supposed to be all good and beautiful and loving and kind, caring, motherly? Got some bad news for you. That is not necessary necessarily the case. I can understand why people become misogynists, in all honesty. Shouldn't go on a rant, really. But I understand why people do become misogynists. Women are put on a pedestal and I have to say it's an undeserved pedestal. Anyway, going on a bit of a tangent there perhaps. Rest in peace, the baby who perhaps died of starvation, was stuffed under a bed to rot, to literally decompose. Let's hope the other three children, aged 8, 10 and 3, do have adequate care. So the father was reportedly shut out, not allowed to see any of the children. Hopefully that situation is reversed. Presuming the father is a good man, which is, I've got to say, a little bit questionable given he was in a relationship, he had children with this banshee. Presumably there would have been signs about how evil she was in or how incompetent how abusive she was surely there would have been signs if i go on rants or mini rants blaming women for hooking up with males that have violent histories criminal histories that are felons etc etc and end up abusing the children involved then i ought to at least question the man in this case the father perhaps i shouldn't victim blame too much for all i know he's a completely innocent party so full condolences to the father and other other family members and again let's hope and pray that the three remaining children do get the support love care and attention that they require and back to the mother let's hope that the police revoke the bail sao paulo what are you doing i know that you are used to crime but why are you letting a prime suspect in a a litany of child abuse, potentially child murder. Why are you letting them walk the streets just because they posted bail? That is ridiculous. I'll never be going to Brazil. It seems like an awful place if that's how you handle things.